Hello, in this video I want to give it my review, my experience with the new camera Canon R5. I was lucky enough to receive this camera from BNH in the middle of September, so it was second wave, and I was using for all this time shooting on the R5, and I upgraded from previous camera Canon 5D Mark III. I never decided to upgrade to Mark IV, I did not see real reason. Um, there was changes not big enough for me. And on camera, um, the other one RP and other cameras are, it just, I try, does not feel right. Um, overall, I tell you, it's a very huge step and I'm great. For example, when I shoot on Mark II, 5D Mark II camera, and I decide to upgrade to Mark III, mostly my upgrade was getting secondary full frame camera as a backup because I was shooting on events and I don't want to switch lenses between. So I have a two cameras, kind of was working. Um, from that point to upgrade, after focus and other things, I did not see any big reason. With a review on R5, it definitely was very, very huge upgrade for me. And if you consider for yourself straightforward, yes, it's worth it. It is a very nice camera and it's worked very well and perform. Um, I know some people was freaking out, screaming, running around like chickens without heads about overheating on a video. One thing for me, it is for a camera. I actually don't even shoot on this video at all. I don't think I even try to shoot yet on this, maybe someday. For me, when I need to shoot video, I use it actually camera at the design to do video, like a red or other ones what I'm using for. But this is my just a photo camera. So and this is a review for me as using this camera as the photo camera. So if you look for the video, look probably in different videos than this one. Overall, uh, feel it feels much lighter. And you notice on this camera, I also put it a battery grip. Almost all of my cameras, they have a battery grip from two, three, I even have it X first Rebel X camera, which I put at grip. And the reason why, because I have this huge hands, you can see how it's big, it does not even fit in a frame. And for me, it feels much, much uh, nicer. It does add weight. But benefit for using grip on this for me was it is a uh, battery life. I shoot long sessions and I never run batteries on this. I do, even with long sessions, I still bring with me extra uh, about four sets of the batteries. So if I need it, I can swap, but I still not yet run to this. So the battery grip work very well for me in this case. And besides it's give it a very nice balance. I know some people was complaining about um, camera is too light because it's mirrorless it does less and you can see actually it's much it's smaller and it's lighter but I never found by myself this problem even without grip it's designed very well it's handled very good in a hand when you're shooting however like I said before with the grip it feels even better so if you have a problem with balancing I do recommend get a grip overall just even for the battery life it does worth it to have this extra um, power storage. <clears throat> Next, let's look overall what we have in the camera. And for me, it was a dramatic update with the uh, after focus. That um, it's more intelligent, it works much faster, it's communicated. That definitely from Mark III upgraded quite a bit. For example, I used to have this lens and it's a Sigma 150 macro. It's kind of, you can see very old lens, but I used to love this lens. The one only problem to shoot on Mark II or Mark III for me was it's after focusing. The focus is constantly playing, it's going, it cannot stay at once. So the other things I do recommend for your purchase if you was with Canon environment, Canon lenses, it is the adapter. It's this, um, adapter EF to R adapter and it's perform more uh, better than I expect like what I said before this lens is old and it was collecting dust because after focus was unbelievable it was playing too much back and forward when I put it on the R <laughs> with even internal stabilizations and everything I took some of these photos and you can see on the videos of the bees who handheld it 
So I put it on a screen. I use it back screen to realign point of the focus and just take from my hand and it's unbelievably sharp. It's focused fast. So just this camera with new focusing system with RF adapter brought life to many old lenses that I used to have it and I collect dust on my shelves. So this, it's worth it for me to this. Um, what is different between this and other of course, if you're using R camera, RP or other ones, you're probably familiar with this. For me, it was upgrade and I'm going from this point of view. Uh, flip screen, it's big update. I do have it. I uh, used also Fuji cameras with flip screen or other ones. And so they come and I'm glad to have it on this camera because it is quite a bit useful for me to switch when I shoot in other ones. After focus perform very well and I use it after focus to shoot as a test pads outside with a servo uh, enable when they run at me it's constantly focusing constantly adjusting again with the grip i did not have it any problem with the battery life so it's lasting quite a bit on this and um, also when i shoot in a studio with gun slides the back is allowed me i set so half of the screen i can point uh, with my thumb i can move around and have the points where I want to focus. So that has worked very well for me in other areas. Uh, photo shooting, focusing in a studio is excellent by using uh, human eye. I do have it sometimes, miss shot, miss focus, and it's probably switching for me from one type environment to another. With the previous Canon's cameras, what I did, I set up my focus, it's on the back. So I position my camera, I push it focus so it's focusing and I take the reframe and I take the picture so focus on the eye reframe take a picture this is what's constantly going with me doesn't matter if I shoot in a studio or if I shoot events concerts I don't want camera decide for me where I want to go I want make my decision for this so this is was my work workflow when I switch to the mirrorless workflow need to be changed because it's work different and primarily this camera it performed very well to focus on the eye, so I don't need it to uh, frame, focus, and shoot. What I do, it's a framing, my after focus select on the eye of the subject, and I take photo. Sometime, if I have it more than one subject, I do use it how I say on the back screen. I said so my thumb, when I look, I used my thumb to readjust position and select one specific subject eye or whatever so i do sometimes uh, use this but overall the camera is handled very well focused for uh, on a person eye and again this is part in the options the other things i also enable and i recommend for some people who have it multiple use a dual focus then uh, dual pixels so that then you can uh, readjust a little bit if you are the focus so that is performed well and i on the cameras, as I said before, it does, I receive it with a grip. I order a grip separate and I order the adapter. And I highly recommend if you're going from early versions of the Canon, use this. I did not have any problems with conversion lens from EF to the RF format. They actually, many lenses perform even better than I perform with a Mark III. Um, like example, this is the with a 7200 2.8 lens and that's very well on stabilization i was really impressed how it's worked in a dark time in the night it was shot very well um also i have the original lens when i bought it my mark ii i got it lens the 24 105 stock lens with this and it was working for many many years to the point actually when i need to flip my lens down it's a <laughs> start moving because What's happening with lens? Your zoom is external, so the lens change. I do like with this. I purchased RF uh, 24 105 stock lens. And when people ask what lens I should have, if you don't have any lens, stock lens, it's for reason you must have it because it will perform from any from wide to telephoto. You can take portraits. You can take landscapes anything this is a lens is like must have if you don't have anything and this lens perform very very well the one great addition i found this habit they add a lock 
So this is meaning when you add your zoom position, you can actually lock to that specific focal link so the lens does not play when you go up and down. So this is huge upgrade for me from previous version of the lenses. Um, overall, the nice performing, you have a bigger um, opening sensor. So these lenses work very well. It is a little bit using plastic, not uh, fully metal, which is make a little bit lighter, I think, but it doesn't really matter to me because it still feel very solid and useful. Um, the third ring add to the RF systems. I did configure, but honestly, I in my workflow, specifically how I'm photo shooting, I did not find that much use for this. Um, maybe in the future when I do something else, but for now I still control everything from the camera. Um, I use it R, played a little bit with R, and I did not find very intuitive. However, back to already designed that to work on two, three, four, and other ones with a joystick and other things. It's definitely very easy to operate and control. Um, the things that maybe I kind of do not like a little bit, and it is how to place the lens. It is a little bit uh, locking. Just you need to be more precise. Other lenses would be much easier for me to swap lenses here. Somehow, with a locking mechanism, it's probably related to new system. Sometimes it's kind of needed work, work around to put it this, so that one. Um, and other things also, I know they added CF card inside, CF Express. And the reason because the, the one support high transfer rate, AK, AK videos and other things, as a photographer, I did not find. I have it, for example, this 250, whatever, this fast uh, type of CD card, and it's worked very well for me. And CF, I just only can justify maybe the one for special fast shooting. I never even have a delay when I use a fast SD card. Uh, personally, I think this is done just for the support 8K video. And again, because I don't shoot it, I don't really use it and need it. And if you think find these cards is very expensive, don't buy this. I only use it just in case if I need a backup or anything, just another slot. It's the only reason I use it. But again, um, for me, I probably prefer as photographer tool SD fast cards instead CF Express. Um, overheating, no issues on this. I don't have any problem with this. Um, grip, they little bit redesigned the grip from previous versions. And um, if you look on the original versions, when they used to have it, you used to open on the back and you have it, your batteries, insert one and two batteries this way. Later versions, they redesigned. So you can actually open, pull out and swap this way. And I have an actual adapter where you can put a double A batteries inside and use a double A's if you really on the field. They do redesign just slightly, but it's still be side opening, which I prefer a little bit better on this case. Um, the best way probably for you to see how this camera work is go check some of my work. I will put it photos and images um, over the video so you can preview how they look so they're going but overall um i'll say i'm really impressed with this camera i did was quite a bit disappointed with the canon rrp cameras in a way they're going to the point i was even considered to switch to other like sony or some other ones and uh, tell you the truth this is r5 it's won me back so it's i think this is for me personally it's a better camera than other ones that I was using before and it's definitely worth it upgrade. I not yet explore every functions on this so I'm doing as a work progressing when I have a little bit more free time I probably go and try to play around but I did use this as a test on a um, how fast lens are working with a macro. I did work on a fast focusing on a running animals other things and must mostly in studio shooting portraits um, and few landscapes well again thank you for watching this video hopefully some of this information i provided 
um, it will be useful. If you want technical information, this is plenty of the videos. This is more as a personal testimony about these cameras. Does it worth it for me to upgrade, to step up and pay um, quite a bit expensive cameras to pay this much money for this camera to go from Canon uh, 5D Mark II, Mark III and so on. Thank you again for watching this video.